in Britain's most southerly county of Cornwall. There's a fishing harbour called Cadgwith Cove, it's pebbly beach and thatch cottages. From here my story is told. Five generations both sides of my parents. Thirty years of fishing I have been. My great great granddad was a hewer. We both caught pilchards, now sardines. A hewer from the cliff top of fish finder. To locate, estimate species and quantity. Very respected in the community. For a pilchard sane in company. He directed with the aid of gorse bushes. In his hands with his arms in the air. To the man who steered the rowing same boats. So the direction around the shoal was clear. The importance of catching was so great. Excitement could be seen in the air. No talking or standing near him. Or you would be made to stand clear. And once that huge shoal had been encircled. The net overlapped and tied off. Would then bring great celebrations. With a cheering and a hatch go aloft. Then a long rope tied to an eye bolt, which is secure to the foot of the cliff, would be rowed out to the same boat's capstan and winched in to the sandy bottom bay. Now the net had been anchored by cliff and seabed. For days apparently while well, men rest their head, luggers from Mevagizzi, Newlin and Lou would come down and take pilchards for their factories too. Then that tuck net carrying same boat set their net within that anchored seine and raised the fish to the surface. What a spectacular sight to gain. Thousands of beautiful sardines, their water they knew not enough, would jump and splash continually. The noise was a continual... <sighs> The spray over the shoal had scales in that twinkled in the air as they fell. Down below deep green sea full of twinkles appeared solid as they sank to and fro. Many hundreds of squawking seagulls, their concern for their fish, not their flight, would bang into you in the back of the head. In the dark was hell of a fright. Someone hitting there. Right? Many men straddled a gunnel Two to a basket dipped and filled, and tipped they pilchards into their own boats, until their gunnels were spilled. Rowed ashore, winched, and walked up, effort shown in each way, in hand barrows to salting cellars, and ladies, alternatively in barrels they lay. Then a small lid had been fitted to the barrel, and a pole wedged into a ridge on the wall, and a stone on the end to lever like, to squash out all the air and the oil. Now the oil lit the lamps of London, so they could see in the dark. The pilchers now cured by salting, so they could be sold to the Pope and afar. You.